Hello all, I am Siddharth Kaul and welcome to Edupedia World. In this video, I am going to talk about the development environment of MATLAB. This is what MATLAB looks like when you open it for the first time. You got your current folder window where it shows all your files in your current work path. You got your command window where we can type the commands and get the results. We have our workspace variable window where all the variables that we create in the command window or we import it gets updated. We have our command history where whatever commands we are writing will be stored as a history. Let's get started with the command window. Observe how the variable get updated in the workspace as I type it in the command window. So let me type variable 1. Let me assign it a value of 10. Similarly, variable 2, assign it a value of 15. As you can see, variable 1 has been assigned a value of 10, variable 2 as a 15. Now let me do some operation on it and not assign it to any variable. So I will do variable 1 plus variable 2. As you can see, answer 25 has been updated in the default variable of ANS. So this is how the workspace and command window works. There is a slight difference between the MATLAB desktop that I am using and the one that is recently available at the MathWorks site. The new design is more tabular and touch base. It has tabs for plots and has a gallery of apps that have been created and hosted on the MATLAB. The newer version also does not have a start button. It is a bummer for me as I like the old interface that it was simple and straightforward but that is just me. Due to the newer GUI, MATLAB has seen a surge in product sales so it is a, basically a good decision for them. But for general overview, it still has the three basic things. Even in the new GUI, three things remain same. That is the current folder, the command window and the workspace variables. In the end, the change in GUI is not much a big challenge as we will be working only with the basic commands that have not changed over the period of time. So whatever you are going to see in the videos will work on whatever version of MATLAB you will be using. In the next video, we will look into matrices and arrays. Till then, stay tuned and thanks for watching.